little peaches. One of the ways your papa stayed out of your mama's way, I, or, I mean, he kept himself busy <laughs> while he was waiting for you to be born, was to work on these little surprises. One of them was a playground for you. But there was too much to do. So he asked me, your Uncle Sid, for a little help. In retrospect, your Uncle Sid probably wasn't the best choice. Hey, Sid, really appreciate you lending a paw here. You see, I built this awesome playground, but my kid's coming any day now, and I need to baby-proof the place. Look at this. The only game our kid can play here is Daddy Brings You to the Doctor. I hear you. Now, what can Uncle Sid do for you? Well, let's see. You can pad those sharp, eye-poking-out rocks with leaves. You can put mud on those sharp rocks over there. Oh, yeah, and you could melt the sharp icicles in the cave. No, now those are a hazard. Yeah, but not everybody thinks so. They may try and stop you. Stop me? The child safeinator? Bring him on. all these leaves over the rock. Oh! 
Sid, you actually did it. Now all that's left is for me to uproot those tree stumps. Ah, the playground looks safer already. we didn't call and frank proof the playground but hey i couldn't move those large rocks earlier but maybe they can i got an idea uh does this idea include me if you can get on one of their backs you can guide them into the rocks this is what happens when i wake up before noon let's see if rhinos eat mud balls <laughs> Come on, come and get me. Hey, thanks for your help, my rhino friend. I'm never, ever doing this again. I did. 
the playground, not the ground ground. Oh, this playground. It's amazing. The baby loves it. Well, then the baby will really love this, an ice mobile. The baby thinks you're the best dad ever. Wow! And where did you get all the energy to baby-proof wow. this place? <laughs> hey, is it okay? Oh, he's probably just shocked that we're nowhere to be found on your special family ice mobile. Sometimes, little Peaky, even your uncles are wrong about stuff. And by your uncles, I mean Diego. Oh, not this again. He thought that since he wasn't asked to participate in the goings-on with the gifts for you, that he wasn't part of our family anymore. He could have asked, of course. Every time. But now! <sighs> so your Uncle Diego went off, off into the wilderness. Oh, he was sure that all this family life had dulled his hunter's touch. So he came up with the perfect test. What's the matter? Need a break or something? I was just warming up. Ooh, well, when you're warmed up, let me know. So I can blow your stripes off. <laughs> <laughs> 